So, okay, so we're talking about jewelry and we're talking about other valuable things here. We're talking about family pictures and things that you can do. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. So why would you keep those snapshots in albums on your phone in a box? Right. That's exactly here right. with creative ways to display those pictures as your home decor. Karen Boyer for Daisy Lane Scrapbooking and Craft Mall is back. So obviously the popular choice, store them on your phones, right? That's right. How many pictures do you have on your phone? Oh, let's not talk about that, <laughs> Karen. But when you lot. look at those pictures, <laughs> Don't you smile and you remember and it's just so I sweet do. and so and that's the shame of photographs stored on our phones or even in photo albums tucked away. Why not take your photographs and use them to decorate your home with? And so that's what we're showing today. And a lot of people can be a little intimidated about shadow boxes, but they're very simple um, to put together because it's like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. You don't have to glue anything till it's down, and you can really match your home decor. You know, like a bathroom. We've got this beach one over here. A very popular theme for bathrooms is the seashells and the blue. Oh, yeah. So why not throw your family's last vacation to the beach in a shadow box? You've got a place to not only store the photographs, but the memorabilia as well. Well, and I like what you did with that there, too. You're using different, I guess, artistic representations where this thing says beach. That's obviously not a photograph, but you're creating right. kind of a kind of a memory Scrapbook book. Scrapbook feel yeah. towards yeah. it. Well, that's yeah. exactly right. The same products you use to make your scrapbook pages or foot paper crafting you can use to make your shadow boxes. And they come in all sizes. Look at all the different sizes, yep. And to clean them, they're so simple. You you can either use a feather duster or I use spray air. Just a little squirt and you're good to go. But there you go. if you that's don't want to use your original air. can of yep, air. Yep. Yeah. And if you don't want to use your original pictures, you can always color copy, like I did some with my heritage photographs here. Or with a lot of photographers now, you buy the rights to the CD. Yes. And so you have the options now to print off wallet sizes and big ones and little ones, as many as you want. So you might as well get your money's worth and make a few extras or make them as gifts and uh, give them out. Well, so. and I love that idea because it, when you and I were talking the last time you were here about all those boxes of photos, you've got grandma and grandpa in a thousand different poses. You don't, yeah. need, you don't need a whole shoe box of photos and here's a way that you can put some of them out and enjoy them. That's right. Yeah, yeah. and something else I wanted to point out, look at this. You've got these fun little jars yes, on here. I don't know if they can see, see that. Here, I'll move these things and that is so back. cool yeah. that you're not that it's just cool. It's not just pictures. No, it's not. No, and like here we've got the old letterpress blocks here, an actual an old metal spoon. And you know, people local in Champaign, Urbana, have the idea store. I go there yeah. for a lot of my little trinkety things. So very cool. Well, and okay. I like, I like this one too because here's something that you don't see a lot of. You've got silver spoons that are an old family tradition, right? Yeah. That they, they get passed down, and you don't always know what to do with them. So there's a way to display it, and you can mm -hmm. secure it there little without pieces damage. Pieces of grandma's right? old jewelry, maybe that's broken, or little. Trinkets yeah. from the, the era memorabilia, newsprint articles, cards, things that they've gotten too. Yeah. Cool. So show us how they come originally. Right. Before so they we come. Fancify these them. are all uh, made by a company called Kaiser Craft. They're actually out of Australia, and they make them um, very inexpensive, and they make them easy to ship, which helps on the cost too. You get two pieces, a front and a back, that come detached. So you can paint them, you can uh, paper them, you can distress them however you like, and then you glue them together, um, and it really makes them simple and easy. I mean, a two-step process to get your shadow box together. How easy would it be though to change out the pictures? Because you know in a photo, in a frame, or a picture frame, it's easy, oh here's this year's school picture, oh here's next year's, just switching them out. Are these have that these option? are all, none of these have that option, but it, an easy thing to do would be is to, instead of gluing your photograph down, use some of the neat decorative clips. You know, oh. colored clothespins are all the rage. There's metal clips out there, too. So instead of actually gluing your picture here, you would add a little clip to it where you could clip it and undo Switch it. Switch it in way. and out. But I have a feeling once you do one, you're going to become so addicted, you're just going to keep <laughs> it. Well, and you can always move them in your house. I mean, if you're doing one one year, you want to do another one the next year, right? Or give you... it away the next year and make a new one. <laughs> That's a great idea. It's a Christmas uh, gift. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Do you have classes on how to do these at Daisy Lane? We do. We do um, classes and we do workshops, um, not only on shadow boxes, but a ton of different stuff to do home decor, um, decorating with photographs, kind of incorporating it. I, you know, yeah. and because this is this is a great example of how you really made that stand out through through the craft of it all. Yeah. And that's good stuff. Karen, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. These are fun ideas. Yeah. If you need any more creative ideas from Karen and her team there at Daisy Lane, be sure to visit CILiving.tv after today's show. All right, time for today's C.